How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play. They call me the Toaster and let's get right into today's episode. So we are finally done our iron and villager farm. I can't believe how far we've come. So I guess the next thing is just to prepare to put some zombie villagers in here. So there are a few things that I wanted to do. Uh, because mostly it is daytime, so I won't be able to find any zombie villagers. I plan to be trading sticks with the villagers uh, in order to get emeralds. So I'm going to need a fletching table. And I also need sticks. I don't have a ton of sticks right now. And actually, I have somewhat of a stick farm that I could get started on. So let's make those little modifications over here. First and foremost, I'm going to need to plant lots and lots of spruce trees. I'm going to get sticks that way. So I need to build an area for that. Uh, but first, what I wanted to do was just edit my sugarcane farm a little bit so I could also get bamboo out of it. I have a ton of sugarcane. So let's see. I just need to get up here and actually this is going to make everything much more efficient and I'll tell you why because bamboo grows a lot quicker than sugarcane does so if I plant bamboo over here it's going to trigger the observer much more quickly than if there was a sugarcane here so this is going to just activate the farm a lot sooner. Okay. I got to make sure I just plant one in each one of these. And I'm also going to keep the sugar cane on the other side because I still do want to farm a little bit of sugar cane because it's always good to have paper. I don't want I don't want to just give up on my paper completely. So let's uh, fill this area back in. Very good. So now we should be starting to get some bamboo. And I'm, I guess I'll just put this in here for now. All right, very good. Now, the next thing we need is I'm going to need a lot of fences. So let's just try making however many fences we could make. What do I need for that? I need sticks. Do I have sticks? 23. I'll leave that in there for now. So I'll make a stack of that. And where is Bruce fences? 23. I think I'll try to make two stacks. Maybe start with that. See how that goes. And I need more sticks, more spruce fences. Okay, so that should be okay. So basically, what I wanted to do was plant trees around the villager farm. So that way I have a good way of getting a lot of sticks. But I need to make sure that they're going to be loaded in the chunk thing. So let's start counting. So we got one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So this is one chunk. And this was the middle. So if I remember correctly, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven over here. So if I come up here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is one chunk right over here. So we got one, two. Okay, so we got plenty of space over here. Very good. Anything waiting for me on this side? No. Nope. All right. All right, so here's my plan for this. I'm going to dig all this out. And I'm going to plant lots and lots of trees over here. So I can get a ton of sticks and trade all that for those delicious emeralds 
All right. So. Um, yeah, so that's one. So I'm going to go over here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So this is another chunk. And where did the chunk end? It ended right here. Yeah, right over here. So it's one, two, right? So it's one, two, yeah. One, two, so it ends right over here. Okay, so this is the end of one of the chunks. I'm just gonna break these torches over here because I kind of need to reclaim those. So, and now we're going to start another one. So I guess I'm just going to level out this surface. Make everything nice and even. All right. Actually, maybe I don't need to go out that far. So, I think, uh, do I have a large tree set up? No, I don't. I forget exactly how far I need to build it out. Well, in any case, let's just start putting down this. So, I'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, okay, so maybe I'll do the outline with the um with the fences that makes a lot of sense and then i just need to break these so that nothing could just very easily walk on over yeah there we go just like that all right and Let's put some more fences over here. And then we'll need to dig out the other side. Looks like it's becoming nighttime. So I think I am going to have to get some sleep, which I'm going to do right now because things should start spawning soon. And I don't want to bring the zombie villager in there and then work on the tree farm just to find out that it's, he's going to despawn. So... Let's just get a good night's sleep. Oh, and actually, I move my bed. <laughs> that awkward moment when you autopilot your way back home. Also, I'm going to collect these torches. I need, I need all the torches I can get. Yeah, very good. Wow, I used a ton of torches in here. I would use torches to mark this thing out. Like, torches are so valuable. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's just clean up all these torches over here. All right. So I'll just close up this area over here and get some nice, well needed sleep. All right. Very good. I just need to light up this place a little bit so that nothing spawns in here. All right, awesome. So let's get back to building our tree farm. So I just need to finish out uh, hollowing out this area over here. So what I wanted to know was the trees when they grow how far out do the leaves go because i don't want them to overlap each other obviously i want for i want all the leaves to spawn when the tree builds because then you can get even more saplings when they break but i think i guess i'll just have to put one down and see like how far it goes out So let's see, I have 27 divided by 4, uh, 1, 2, 3, yeah. 
So I'll only be able to put 24 divided by 4 is 6. So I'll be able to make 6 trees. And I guess what I'm going to do here is... Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. I'm going to put down my dirt and my diamond figure. Alright. So if I plant one of the trees... Yeah, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 divided by 2 is 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'll put one right over here. And then, so like the wood is going to grow from this area. And then how far out will the leaves go? I guess I'll do 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One, two, three, four, five. I guess I'll put my second one over here. Uh, I guess I'll fill this in with dirt as well. And then I'll see after they grow, I'll probably be able to maybe move it closer or change the design just a little bit. Right now, let's just put down the dirt. So I think what I'm also going to do is just place the six trees in here and then fence it off. And then if I need to expand the area, I could always do that. Do I have a lot of dirt? Yeah, I have a ton of dirt. I also have a ton of space over here. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it doesn't make sense to place them this far apart from each other. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another set right over here. I'm going to break this wooden post. And I can put one right here. All right, very good. So let's place down more dirt. I'm going to break this area over here, so just so that I can place down lots and lots of dirt. All right. So I put down three already, so I just need to put down three more. Do I have any bone meal? Can I make them grow quickly just to like kind of get an idea of what I should be doing? I don't think I have any... Well, we'll see what I have. So let's fill this in so that everything looks nice and even. So then I guess I'll do the next set. Yeah, so it was it was one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Whoops. Five, and then I need to do two more to actually plant it, and then I guess I'll put a space and then put the the tree there. Okay. So this is good. This is gonna be good. I probably won't end up building like an automatic tree farm just because those things are like really resource intensive, and you may as well just like chop down the wood on your own. Maybe like very very late game but at that point i'll probably be done trading with the villagers yeah so we had one two three four five one two three four five and then we're putting these over here and we are putting the rest of this here and then you got to be sure to light this up here I'm missing just what three. I'm just gonna have to one, two, three. There we go. One, two, three. Perfect. All right, so let's put down some torches over here. One, two. I guess I'll skip two. Put one down. Two, 
It should keep everything nice and lit. It's okay if this place is not fully lit up because I won't be coming out here in the night. All right, there we go. And I guess, oh, so it only comes out one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's not bad. I was pretty close. Why did this one grow to be so short? Oh, I didn't finish planting the trees. Whoops. Uh, yeah. So, one, two, three, four, five. So oh, I'm just gonna put them here. Oh, and I had one more. Oh, did I mess up the math? I probably did. That's okay. Is this going to break into it? Yeah, I definitely I definitely don't want that to happen. Uh I guess I guess maybe just for this time this one can be uh I'm really in a hard place right over here. I guess I'll just put this one outside just for now. I have three left. I'm not going to plant three. I'll save it to, for when I get one more sapling. All right. Um, I want to just light up this area a little bit more too. So I'll do... Get one, keep going. Yeah, that looks good. And then I'll also just place a couple of random ones in here. Yeah, there we go. That should be good. All right. All right, so lastly, I just wanted to change the composters. I wanted to put the two fletching I wanted to put two fletching tables in there because when you cure them, they give you a good deal on a trade, and I think my first good deal should be from a uh fletcher. That way I can get uh, sticks. So I have my two flint over here. And can I make a fletching table? Yeah, and then I needed two more flint. But I had a ton of gravel over here in the back. So I'm just going to try to see if I can get two more pieces of flint. So let's see. Oh, there's one. I'm going to put it in my inventory so I can see if I end up getting a second one. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, I'm going to trade the composters for the Fletchers. Because that way, I'll be able to get a lot more bang for my buck. And you see, look, it's already starting to come. <laughs> I already got half a stack just in that time. Alright, let's make one more fletching table. And let's switch out those villager blocks. So, a fletching table. Awesome. And then we're going to go break those composters and put down the fletching tables. So, break this block. Put this one here. Break this block. Put this one here. And I'm going to save the composters because the villagers give you... I mean, the farmers give you golden carrots, so I'm definitely going to want them in the future. All right. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Now all that's left is to put a zombie villager in here, and now it's nighttime, but I think this is a great place to end the video. If you liked it, please leave me a like, leave me a comment, tell me what you think, and hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. All right. Have an awesome day. Toaster out.